In this brief tutorial, we will walk through the process of activating your InfraWorks 360 or InfraWorks 360 related vertical applications. These could include, but are not limited to, roadway design for InfraWorks 360 or bridge design for InfraWorks 360. The best place for us to start is at the very beginning. After making your software purchase, you will receive an order confirmation email from Autodesk. This confirmation includes some important data, so be sure to hang on to it. In addition to your order and contract numbers, there are some helpful links on the right. If you have any problems with your activation, or you are looking for answers regarding licensing, these links are a great place to start. As you scroll down in the email, you will find the serial number and product keys for all of the software you have purchased. In this case, my order includes five seats of InfraWorks 360 and three seats each of bridge design and roadway design for InfraWorks 360. At the bottom, we can manage our new software by logging into our existing Autodesk account. Now please note, if you do not have an Autodesk account already, you will receive a second email that looks like this. It will contain your login name and temporary password. In our case, I already have an existing account, so I will click on the link in the email or use my internet browser to navigate to accounts.autodesk.com and sign in using my username and password. After signing in, I can use the Profile tab in the dialog to provide some additional details about myself. This can be very handy when I start collaborating with others. I'll come back to this at another time. For now, I will access the details about my account by clicking on the Account tab. Using this tab, I can explore all of the products and services contained within my account. Depending on how much I have, this list can get pretty long. Clicking on Products or Services here on the left can help make it easier to access exactly what I need. For example, I would like to get up and running with my new InfraWorks 360 software, so I will go back to Products. First, I will need to install InfraWorks 360 if it has not been installed already. Clicking on the arrow next to Install Now provides me several options. Essentially, you can install directly from here or download the install file for later use. Now just a quick tip, if you are currently using the trial version of InfraWorks 360, there's no need to download again. Simply launch the trial and then use the serial number and product key from your order confirmation email. Looking at the list, we can see the total number of seats for each software included in my contract. We can also see how many seats of each software title have been assigned to users. By default, because I am the contract administrator, one seat for each software title has already been assigned to me. Now because I will not be the only person in my firm to use the software, next I will assign access to additional users in my organization. Now because I am the contract administrator, I can click on Manage Users to do this. And the process could not be easier. We simply click on the Add Users button and enter the user's email, first name, and last name. After clicking on Save, we can make our assignments by checking the appropriate box. Keep in mind that a user must be assigned an InfraWorks 360 seat to be able to use a roadway design or bridge design for InfraWorks 360. As we click on Assign, notice that our available seat count updates automatically. The process concludes when we click Save. At this point, Mary Blake has been sent an email invitation. The status next to her name will remain grayed out until she accepts the invitation. Now in case you were wondering, this is what Mary will experience on her end. Once the email is received, she will need to click on the link and enter the login credentials supplied. Because Mary did not previously have an Autodesk account, after logging in with her temporary password, she will automatically be prompted for a new one. Mary can then see the new services that have been added to her account. After InfraWorks 360 has been installed on her computer, when Mary runs InfraWorks 360, she will be asked for her login credentials. After clicking Sign In and accepting the Term of Service, Mary is ready to start using the software that was assigned to her. In this case, it's InfraWorks 360 and Roadway Design for InfraWorks 360. Now that Mary is up and running, let's switch back to My View of Accounts and set up the rest of the folks in my organization. Rather than perform this task one user at a time, I will use the bulk add function. 
Using this option, we enter the names and addresses in the text box using the sample data below the box as an example. Essentially, we need first name and last name, followed by their email address within the less than and greater than symbols. We also need a semicolon to separate names. Fortunately for us, this is the same format used by most email packages. If I don't want to enter all of the names manually, I can save myself some time by copying and pasting this information from the to line in one of my emails. Now that my users have been entered, like I did for Mary, I can edit their access as necessary. Well, that's all for now, but before we wrap up, I will leave you with a number of links where you can find additional information. As you read through the links, let me close with the following. If you are an existing Autodesk customer, thank you for your continued investment in our solutions. And if you are a new Autodesk customer, welcome to the Autodesk family. We look forward to working with you.